cervical cancer. Get screened. What is cervical cancer? Cancer is a disease where cells in the body grow out of control. Cancer is always named for the part of the body where it starts, even if it spreads to other parts later. Cervical cancer starts in the cervix. The cervix is a part of a woman's reproductive system. The cervix is the portion that connects a woman's uterus, where the baby grows, to the vagina, where the baby is pushed out. So how does a woman get cervical cancer? All women are at risk for cervical cancer. Several factors can increase your chances of getting this cancer. Risk factors include age, family history, smoking, nutrition and diet, unprotected sex, and the human papillomavirus, also known as HPV. To lower your risk, focus on risk factors you can control or avoid, rather than on those you cannot. Talk to your doctor to get screened for cervical cancer. If there are any abnormal changes to your body, you can detect them in their early stages. Age. Cervical cancer happens most often in women over age 30. About one out of every four new cases happens in women between the ages of 35 and 44. It's important to screen early to prevent cervical cancer from developing. Family history. Cervical cancer may run in some families. If your mother or sister has cervical cancer, your chance of developing the disease is two to three times higher than if no one in your family had it. This may be because family members can have the same risk factors. Smoking. Smoking greatly increases your risk for developing many illnesses. Women who smoke are about twice as likely as non-smokers to get cervical cancer. Nutrition and diet. Women whose diets are high in vegetables and fruits may decrease their risk for cervical cancer. Diets low in vegetables and fruits can lead to being overweight or obese, and women who are overweight are more likely to develop cervical cancer. Unprotected sex. When you have unprotected sex, you expose yourself to the risk of being infected with a sexually transmitted infection, also known as an STI. Not all STIs show symptoms. If an STI is left untreated, it can lead to frequent infections. Chlamydia is a common STI that could increase the risk of cervical cancer. HPV, also known as the human papillomavirus, HPV is the main cause of cervical cancer. It is a common virus passed from one person to another during physical contact, mainly through unprotected sex, such as vaginal and anal intercourse, and even oral sex. About three out of every four cases of cervical cancer are caused by HPV. HPV does not always show symptoms. Someone could be infected with HPV for years and never know. He or she can pass it on without knowing. When a woman is infected with HPV, abnormal cells can grow inside her cervix. These abnormal cells can then turn into cervical cancer. If these cells are found early through regular screening and treated, cervical cancer can be prevented. So how do we screen for abnormal cells? The PAP test, or PAP smear, and the HPV test are used for screening. The PAP test looks for any unusual changes in your cervical cells, and the HPV test looks for signs of the HPV virus. Some women are tested for HPV along with the PAP test as a part of screening. When a woman has an unusual PAP test result, the HPV test may also be used to help decide what to do next. If HPV test results show a high-risk type of HPV, she may need to have more tests. Screening is the best way to prevent cervical cancer. Many women who have cervical cancer have not had regular PAP tests. Screening is very important for the Asian American community because they have the lowest PAP test rate among all racial and ethnic groups. In New York City, Asian American women also have the second highest death rate by cervical cancer. So when should you start screening? The American Cancer Society recommends that all women have their first cervical cancer screening at age 21. And women aged 21 to 29 should have a PAP test every three years. 
beginning at age 30, the pap test combined with an HPV test can be used to screen every five years. This is called co-testing and should continue until age 65. Some women believe they can stop cervical cancer screening once they have stopped having children, but this is not correct. Women should continue to follow the American Cancer Society guidelines even after they have stopped having children. And remember to visit your doctor every year for your regular annual physical exam. How do you prepare? Before you see your doctor for screening, there are a few simple things you can do to make your pap test more accurate. First, try to schedule the screening appointment for a time when you are not on your menstrual period. The best time is at least five days after bleeding stops. 48 hours before the test, do not douche, do not have sex, and do not use tampons, vaginal creams, moisturizers, lubricants, or vaginal medicines. Now you know when and how to prepare for your pap test screening. So what will happen during the test? Screening is brief and simple, and may be a little uncomfortable, but it's important to remember the benefits of screening to prevent cervical cancer. First, your doctor will place a metal or plastic instrument called a speculum inside your vagina to keep the vagina open. This helps the doctor see your cervix clearly. Next, your doctor will lightly scrape the surface of the cervix with a small spatula. This part is not painful, and most women do not even feel it happening. Then, a small brush or a cotton tip swab is inserted into the cervical opening to take a sample from the inside of your cervix. Finally, the sample is examined under a microscope in a laboratory. Your doctor will contact you later with the results. Simple, right? So get screened. Taking care of your health and protecting yourself with regular screening will benefit your health and your loved ones around you. This is the Charles B. Wong Community Health Center at 268 Canal Street or call the Women's Health Department at 212-966-0228 to make an appointment. Visit your doctor today to find out when you can schedule your next pap test and prevent cervical cancer. We are open seven days a week and serve all patients regardless of their ability to pay.